Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I am here with another video. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me video. This simple look, like it is so um, effortless, like honestly, like this is something that I do every single day, or not every single day, when I actually decide to put on makeup. So when I do put on makeup, I, lately, I, if you guys have noticed, if you've been an OG of my channel, thank you so much, first of all. And second, you know that I used to be like, heavy like not heavy makeup but it was like I used to do really bold looks when it comes to like the eyes and stuff like that really bold colors glitters all that stuff and I'm not saying I'll never do that again but lately I've just been liking my stuff just really toned down and just more neutral so yeah this is the look and this wig just goes really nicely with it um let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section this wig is by outre this is um the daily wig samara wig it's heat safe up to 400 degrees it's color 1b it's a hand tied lace part so this is a lace part wig not a lace front wig so yeah super easy for newbies to wigs definitely you would love this unit so um they did have like a rule of five products you guys know i like uh, i break the rules okay because um it's definitely not a lot of products and i will definitely limit the um products that i use that i put down in the description box the ones that you definitely need so yeah um I just couldn't, I couldn't do it, okay? I was just looking too, too rough, okay? With just the five products. I was like, uh-uh, honey. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, other than that, let me know what you guys think of this unit down below and this entire look. Could you see yourself doing this uh, when you have to wear your makeup? Or um, could you see this as an everyday look? This wig is called the Daily Look. So, they really wanted to go for something that um, the average woman could, that's not like a quote-unquote makeup artist or makeup enthusiast can do on a daily basis and this wig is definitely a throw on and go type wig so let me know what you guys think like i said down below and i will see you queens in my next video i love you guys be beautiful especially on the inside Deuces. all right so here i am looking a hot mess if you guys notice something in my voice or just how I talk right now, I'm so sorry. I am sick, but we're going to jump right into this video. So I'm going to take my Wonder Brow in Jet Black and I'm just going to carve out my brows. I love to use this when I'm using my dark, uh, wearing my dark units. They are perfect um, for that because these, this one brow lasts literally all day. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Warm Honey and I'm going to go ahead and sculpt the brows out just so they are crisp and perfect. Now this concealer right here that I'm using is by Ruby Kisses. I believe it is meant for dark circles. I will leave the exact name of it down below in the description box. Definitely check it out because you can get it at your local beauty supply store. It's super duper inexpensive and it has really good coverage as well. So when those days when I literally look like a zombie, like I didn't get enough sleep, I like to go ahead and put this under my eyes and yeah, it really does cover well. So I definitely will recommend this product.
So right here, I'm just taking the AOA Studios banana powder um, from Shop Miss A, $1, <laughs> just to set my um, concealer that I just put down. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the, what is it, Wet n Wild highlighter. And I think this one is in Rose Petal. I will leave it down below. Um, I think, no, it's called Pink Petals. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put that as a little highlight on my cheekbones and in the center of my nose anywhere that I want to highlight and these are super inexpensive as well so here is the wig her name is Sahara in a color 1B these are the curls they are absolutely gorgeous I would say that this unit is about 20 to 22 inches long stretched out um, the curls there are layers in this unit and there is um, two combs in the front a comb in the nape and also um, adjustable straps now this is not a lace front wig it is a full wig so you're gonna have to put a little bit more work into it to make it look as natural as possible so I wasn't really feeling how it looked on the middle or left side so I went ahead and chose the right side so um, but you can go ahead and choose to wear it however you want because it's pretty comfortable either with either part so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of my foundation um, powder into the parting space and I didn't pluck any hairs at all so that's how it looked the parting space was really nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do I usually um, with full wigs I always recommend to take out your edges because it just looks a lot more natural that way so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of my um, edge control and I believe I use the style factor edge control and I'm using that to just make my little swoopies that I always do with my baby hairs now you definitely can choose to leave it um, your look just like this if you are you know more of a minimalist you definitely can some days I'm feeling confident to wear you know just my, no makeup like this and kind of just very simple sometimes I don't wear any at all <laughs> no brows or nothing but honey um, this day I was just like I'm looking too dead I need to add a little bit more so I'm just gonna go in with my Milani two-in-one foundation and I believe I'm in tan 40, if I'm not mistaken, I will leave mine down below, my shade down below, just so if you are similar in shade to me, then it might work for you. This one is actually a little bit darker, uh, but I like to look a little bit bronze, so it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my uh, brush right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it even more with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal again, the same one that I used to sculpt my brows um, in Warm Honey, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with a damp beauty blender. And of course, I'm setting it with the same powder from AOA Studios. Make sure you guys check out shopmissa.com. They are heaven sent, okay? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the AOA Studios Press Powder. And this one is in Chestnut. And I like to use this one because it, it just is matte. And I don't really like a whole lot of shimmer when I'm uh, bronzing up my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that everywhere. I'm going to use do my nose as well. So yeah, I'm just using an angled brush from AOA Studios as well. Now I'm just using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner. 
um, under my eyes and my waterline and this is the only expensive product that I'm using and it's only because I had uh, some money on my Sephora point so I just went ahead and used it on that so right here I'm just adding some mascara and I believe this is from City Colors and I got it from Five Below so yeah you definitely can add lashes but I wanted this um, look to be as minimal as possible for the people who wanted a more everyday look so I'm just using some brown lip liner and I'm going to outline my lips and then I'm going to use this AOA Studio matte liquid lipstick and it is in the color bougie and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use that So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put Miss Sahara back on. And like I said, I like her to the right side part. And here it is again on the stock card. Um, and yeah, I personally really, really like this unit, especially for the price and especially since it is something that they were going for as an everyday look. I think it definitely can be. Uh, for me, my everyday look would be more of a straighter unit. I think that this is kind of a glam everyday look. But, you know to each his own the only thing that i would add to this unit is um flattening it out maybe um having put in some foaming mousse at the top and then wrapping your hair down or you can just use your heating tool because you this hair is uh heat friendly so you go ahead and i wouldn't put your heating tool over 350 degrees but yeah let me know what you guys think of this entire look down below i love you guys and i will see you soon in my next video be beautiful especially on this side Deuces. Just need time for the